Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're making a wonderfully refreshing sipping cocktail with some cognac and some mint. This is a stinger. So this uh, drink dates back to the early 1900s and it was kind of known as a high society drink. So classically it was made with just two ingredients, cognac and creme de menthe. Um, but none other than Trader Vic started adding some absinthe to his, and that's the way we're going to do it today. Um, I actually found this, this version of the recipe on tuxedo2.com, a great website for uh, cocktail uh, resources I will link below. But yeah, adding a couple dashes of absinthe really kicks us up a notch. So let's start our drink with two ounces of cognac. I'm using Courvoisier. It's my favorite cognac. It's kind of an all-purpose... I don't... Honestly, I haven't tried too many cognacs, but I love this one. After that, we will be doing uh, one ounce of our creme de menthe. If you're, if you're wondering the difference between creme de menthe and peppermint schnapps, I actually did a video of that back during the holidays. So you can check, click the link up there, you can check that out. So one ounce of our creme de menthe. That's going to add, obviously, some minty goodness, as well as a, a certain amount of sweetness. After that, we're going to do two dashes of absinthe. So I that was about three dashes. My my dasher there doesn't dash very well. So I always go a little more. Then again, I always do more dashes in everything, so that's just how I roll. Alright, put some ice in our mixing glass. Then we're gonna crack a cube on top of there. Smack it with the back of the spoon. Come on now. Super smack! <laughs> nice. Oh, and the ice went right off the side. Come on. All right, ice in the glass. Let's give her a stir. About 10, 15 seconds. It's all booze, so we, we stir this one. No need to shake. But we want some chill. We want some dilution. All the ingredients to get to know each other. Slow-mo stir. Okay, that's about our 15, 20 seconds there. Let's move that aside. Let's get our julep strainer ready. And we'll be serving this in a rocks glass, which we'll be adding, yes, obviously, our clear ice balls. I really need to let those temper. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm so in a hurry all the time. <laughs> all right, slow, sexy pour onto that clear ice ball. It clarifies it. It looks beautiful. Look at that. And that's the drink. Uh, this drink does not actually call for a garnish, so we're going to leave it as is. Um, I think a nice mint sprig would be nice, but I'll leave it. Um, so this is a really good drink. It's you know, what, you know what, I wish I had released this one during the holidays, because honestly, this tastes like a boozy candy cane. It's like sipping on a boozy candy cane. It's, uh, there's not much evolution, it's what you'd expect. It's cognac and a strong mint flavor. The absent adds a nice hint of something extra, although I could have actually used more, which is not something I say often about absinthe. But a couple more dashes would have been good. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Cheers.